This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now let's enable fault tolerance on a virtual machine that has four virtual CPUs and a thin disk. So I'm going to right click on my server 01 here and let's take a look at it real quick. I'm going to go to edit settings and we can see it's got four virtual CPUs. I'll just expand out the hard disk here. We can see it's got a thin disk. So I'm just going to right click on my virtual machine, go down to fault tolerance and click on turn on fault tolerance. So now we just need to specify what data store the configuration file, the tiebreaker file, and the actual hard disk is going to be on. So I'll go ahead and browse. So shared 02 is where everything currently lies. I'm going to put the copy on shared 01. So we're basically creating a complete copy of this virtual machine. Uh, the tiebreaker file is going to help decide which host will actually take control of the virtual machine in the event that network connectivity is lost between the two hosts. So this is going to need to be on a shared data store. So again, I'm going to put it on shared 01. And now where the actual hard disk for the virtual machine is going to live. And I'll also put it on shared 01. If I scroll over a bit, we can see disk format. I'm going to keep it the same format as the source, which was thin disk. So all my compatibility checks succeeded. I'll go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to select the host for the secondary VM. Currently the primary is on PHX ESXi 02, so I'm going to select PHX ESXi 01 for the secondary VM. So again, this is basically a complete copy of this virtual machine that we're creating. Click Next and Finish. And take a look at the recent tasks here. And depending on the size of the disks, that will affect how long that uh, you know it takes to copy over the disks and get that complete secondary copy. So if we just scroll down here, fault tolerance, we can see currently it's not protected. Uh, it's creating the secondary VM right now. Okay, and it's now protected.